So I'm a robotics engineer and I work on various consulting projects and contracting jobs. Building BattleBots and robots for TV shows is an example of something that I do for my work. I always have robots on the brain. In designing robots, I use SolidWorks for every part of the robot. Every single screw, nut, and bolt ends up in my cat at some point. When I was about 12 years old, I, I first started seeing about BattleBots on TV and on the internet. And then I built my first robot at 13 for BattleBots. And I competed at 14, and the robot did horribly. But it was really fun, and it was really great to see all the robots at the event. Competition robots is what really motivates me and trying to compete against other engineers. It's just really fun. I was really excited for the season one of ABC of BattleBots because winning BattleBots and the big giant nut was my goal for most of my life. And so I worked for months with my teammates using SolidWorks for weeks, just staring at the computer, seeing every part being perfect, manufacturing it in our shop, and finally seeing it at the event, in the matches, winning was just amazing. And the fact that it won the entire event was just huge. BattleBots is all about destruction. And it's, it's really fun to see your machine destroy someone else's machine. I'm not beating someone up, but my robot might be. The main goal of Robot Combat, or BattleBots in general, is all about power to weight ratio and strength to weight. So you have a weight limit of 250 pounds. I'm using SolidWorks, I use the, the weight management tools. I know that each component has its mass properties in there. So at the end, if I have an extra couple of pounds, I'm going to put it to the critical and weak areas. So you have to make sure that in the end, if you're going to spend months and months working on a robot and thousands of dollars, that's going to come out exactly the way you planned it. So using SolidWorks, I have a lot of faith knowing that the machine I see in the computer will end up very close to the real thing. When I'm designing robots, I'm always looking for things that will speed up uh, my process. If you can find parts already modeled online, like 3D Content Central has tons of parts for downloading for SolidWorks part models. If I can download those parts and see how they fit in my design, then it saves me tons of time. SolidWorks has been really helpful for the speed of sharing my design with my other teammates. So when I'm working on a project and I'm working in the design phase, it's really quick for us to uh, grab a couple of screenshots and highlight a part that we're concerned about, and then my teammates can pull it up on their computers and look at it, give me some feedback right away. And so it, the fact that we all know SolidWorks and we know how to use it and we're fast at it makes the whole robot building process faster. For this new year, for the next season, I designed an all-powerful destruction robot. So the entire design process was based around this powerful spinning weapon, and everything else came around it. Everyone asks always why I would step away from a winning design that Bite Force won BattleBots. The truth is that I just like building robots. My favorite part is designing a SolidWorks, basically. So I'm doing that for months. I, I don't know what it is about robotics. It's just my passion. It's something that uh, I think a lot about. I'm always thinking of new ideas. And I, I wish I just had millions of dollars I could always be building new robots.